On 25th of February, there was an article that published on Business Times. The headline written, Nearly 30 residential projects are facing critical sales deadline in 2023. What does it mean? It means that these projects are meeting the fifth year deadline for the developer to sell out the whole project. If not, they will be penalized by paying the ABSD or they can't get back the ABSD they already paid beforehand. It is just a very, very substantial uh, amount for the developer actually. So, what does this spell for you as a buyer? Does it mean there is going to be a crash of prices on this development? Is it a real good time to go in for a queue to get a very cheap unit? Let's dive deep down and take a look. Alright, this article was actually published on the 25th of February. On that day itself, a few of my buyers actually sent me this article even before I can actually forward to them. Jumping very happy, oh no, no, there's a lot of developments that's going to be dirt cheap because all this developer has to sell cheap to get rid of all their remaining units so that they, you know, they won't make a big loss. Well, uh, at that moment, I really very hard for me to tell them mm, how I'm going to explain to them that this is not really going to happen. I waited for until today, which is about two weeks from the day that the article was published and did some research. So let's get an update. What happened to all these uh, developments for the past two weeks? As of the day they published, they indicate there's a balance of uh, 1,223 units left from these projects. So as of 13 of March, I did a research and go and check the sales figure of all these projects. Turned out 349 units were sold in the last two weeks. So now, uh, as of 13 of March, the balance unit left about 874. I will say that if it under four weeks or a month or maybe um, or so, most of these units will be sold out if you go according to the rate for the past two weeks that we've seen. Okay, and in fact, Pullman Residence, which is one of the top sales uh, number for the last few weeks, they have increased price by about 1% on their sales price. And from 1st of March, they were still selling. Some of the units were still going off the shelf. Average price for a three-bedroom PSF ranges from about 3076 to about 3304 per square foot. And it's still selling. Why? Why are these people still selling? Why don't they wait until the developer slash price, then they go in? Why are this project is still moving? Let's take a look at the market. Okay, for a new launch, basically in the CCR, around November 2022, the Central Core region, the launch price already hit 3,000 per square foot on average. And then RCR has already hit uh, 2006, sometime in January 2023. And for OCR, in September 2022, it's already hit 2,100 per square foot. So these prices has been moving up. The market is still absorbing and still accepting all these new bench prices because we already seen that a few of the projects like Terra Hill, the RCR projects is launching at 2004 and on the high of 2007 per square foot and they are still selling the units. We want to also analyze all the three regions, the central core region, the rest of the uh, core region and the outside of core region. What are the price increase since past 10 years? So I have this graph that's showing that OCR has increased about 42% since 2020, uh, 2013. RCR has increased 49.3% around 10 years ago. And CCR only increased by 30.5%. So what does it mean? It does actually show you that OCR and RCR has increased much faster and higher than CCR in the past 10 years. The price gap between the OCR, RCR with CCR is getting closer and closer. We have actually another graph that can show you that the gap between RCR and CCR, the difference is only 500 over per square foot only. And OCR with CCR, it has dropped from 1,400 plus all the way down to around 900 per square foot difference. Now, OCR and RCR is getting higher prices, but CCR is moving quite slowly. So the gap between RCR and CCR is easier for the upgrader from RCR to CCR. I felt that this is the best time to look at CCR projects now. Why? Because it is actually pretty cheap. Let's look at the uh, basically the market. 
Okay, there are a lot of on blocks already in the market and there's also a lot of on board that was unsuccessful. The reason why is because the prices they were asking uh, and then the developer absorptions was not there yet. But let's take a look, what were they asking for? And if they will be successful in the on block, what will be the sales price if the developer put it up in the market? So let's take a look, Charming Garden is around in Bukit Timah. So at a time when they put up for on block, they were looking around 2,000 per square foot per prop ratio. So if a developer would have bought it, their cost price will be around 3,000 per square foot per prop ratio. If they want to make a margin of profit, they could actually sell around 3,003 per square foot per prop ratio. And certain place in Tanling going around 1,009 to 2,000 per square foot. Selling price will be about 3,230 per square foot per prop ratio for the developer. The Orchard Bel Air, the one that is 99 years in Orchard, very good location. They were asking for 2,551, but because of the uh, top up of the lease back to 99 years, the cost price is higher for the developer, so they have to sell around 4,000 per square foot per prop ratio if the on block is successful. Look at the whole thing here. None of them, the sales price is below 3,000 per square foot. If all these are successful, the sales price will be above 3,000 and the highest actually even touches 4,000 per square foot. So, what are we saying here is that the new benchmark price from 2023 and beyond, for CCR, you'll be looking at averagely 3,005 per square foot onwards. And it is for RCR, which is the rest of core region, will be 2,700 per square foot onwards. And OCR will start from 2,000 per square foot onwards, which is not new, we already know. Lentor Modern has shown them, and Amor too. So what does it mean for the buyers in the market today? Especially for those who are looking for central core region properties. I did a search for three bedroom types among this list of 30 properties and I find out that there are still projects that are selling between 2005 to 2009 per square foot. If the new benchmark price for Central Core Region is reaching 3005 per square foot, do you think it's a safe price to enter in this project who are selling 2005 to 2009 per square foot? Let us have your thought in the comment sections below. And for those who have uh, property related uh, questions, you can always reach out to us. I'm Jen, Jen Dan Property. Always love to hear from you.